Whew. Hey, good morning. Welcome to my shop. This is a little bit different video today. Um, I'm working on my camera stuff, my microphone. Um, we've finished all our garages for the season. It's uh, what, what this is March right now. So it's early spring. There's still snow on the ground. Um, I have time uh, to, to work on the shop and get try to get this recording thing figured out to get good level, sound levels, good video. Um, I'm wide open for suggestions if you have any input on what I could, an angle I could do or something I could explain better. Um, sometimes it's hard when you're on the job and you're actually just going and you don't really want to take time uh, to do this part. But if, if I'm going to keep you folks interested, I guess I need to really spend some time on this. So I have uh, two or three cameras set up. We're going to build a rake. And I just want to see if I can get a, a different sampling of how that works. Uh, so I have, I have the regular camera here, one where I can talk and you can hear me. I have a time, a time lapse set up. And I have, I had to make up one here, that's slow-mo. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Okay. So I'm going to make the rakes, make a rake. I've already cut one end. It's, this is for a garage, the, probably the first garage we will do of the season. The rakes are, that's to create the overhang on the gable end of the garage. Uh, we just mark out roughly two feet apart to put blocks. Which brings up another point, the blocks. These are, we create a one foot overhang, so these are eight and a half inches long. Um, the two two by fours that these will be nailed to are another three, so that's 11 and a half. And then we have usually three quarter pine, for a fascia, or sometimes it'll be metal fascia. Uh, but that's how we start, anyway. All, all these blocks are cut off. They're from basically short pieces of wood that are left over from something. And we'll cut them all. Let's see how this goes. So there we have one rake. There'll be four of them, one for each side on the gable, on each gable. So it is the off season, not much to do. Play a little darts, see what we can hit, see how this works. Not a very good shot. So here's a fun fact. Uh, notice this little, looks like bags under my eyes. Part of it's old age, okay. Uh, but also, about three years ago, someone had left a, a gun on top of a 10 foot step ladder. So it was up there. I didn't know it was there. I moved the ladder and it came down, caught me right there and took about six stitches. Bled like a stuck hog. 
<laughs> but I'm okay, pretty much. Little side note. Let's shoot a nail through a two by four. We'll see how that does. Let's see. I was trying to be safe. Hey. So we have the framing tables set up. They're spaced to receive an eight for an eight foot wall. And usually they're about 12 feet long. So I have, uh, we're going to start with wall section one, one. This is the first garage of the year. Pretty exciting. Spring is finally here. This is the bottom plate and it's pressure treated. We'll also put sill seal on when we get to the job site. Uh, when we nail, we put three nails in each one. We found that going over the road with the the bumps and whatnot, the walls tend to, to really get worked. Working alone today, I haven't called anybody back yet. I don't get many arguments this way. <laughs> One thing we do when we nail, stay six inches away from the spot you're nailing. So we call it the six inch rule. It helps on getting punctured with a nail. Occasionally we get a stud that's really twisted, warped. A pipe wrench works really good for, for straightening that up. You just push it down and twist it. Let's see how this goes. We're going to, st going to stack them outside. 